Today is the morning of day five, and it feels like time has been flying here at the Lost Bay KOA. We haven't done as much sightseeing as we normally do. We've still done a few things over the past few days. We spent some time paddle boarding, we've spent some time in the pool here and in the hot tub, and just some time kind of relaxing and, uh, and taking things at a bit of a slower pace. So it's been pretty nice. Um, we have a few more days here. Our last day here, I'm actually going back to work, remotely of course, and uh, I'll be working for a couple weeks. So that'll be interesting because so far I've actually been on full vacation during our entire trip. So we'll see how the remote working goes. I did do it once last year, so um, kind of used to it, but um, it's gonna be tough actually getting back to work after being off for this long but uh, it's probably time. Not sure what we're gonna do today. No big plans yet. You can see it's a little bit gray and foggy this morning, but it's quite warm. Um, maybe if it starts to get sunny, we'll head to the beach or maybe do some other sightseeing. So uh, I guess we'll see where the day takes us. Hudson is ready to continue his walk, I think. So we're gonna do that now. Matt and Dave, and together with our dogs Bell and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our escape travel trailer. In the winter of 2023, we traveled from Ontario to Texas to pick up a 17-foot Casita trailer and spent over a month on the road. We liked it so much that by the fall of 2023, we upgraded to a 19-foot escape trailer so that I had space to work from the road. We haven't looked back since. Come see where we go next. We have started to realize that once you're on the road for long enough, you've got to start to settle back into a somewhat normal daily routine. So we've been trying to do that by working out every day, by having our meals at consistent times, even by taking huts in for walks at consistent times, just to make it to feel like it's, uh, it's normal life because we are on the road for 11 weeks. So it can't be a, a party or a vacation every day. So you'll notice behind me, we actually moved the trailer this morning. There was a better lot that came available. So we've moved to this location now. There's a little bit less sand and it's, uh, it's not at a low point. So uh, less risk that we're gonna be in a giant puddle when it rains later this week. And now we're headed out to the beach cause it's about 24 degrees outside. So we're gonna head to Johnson Beach and then Orange Beach, um, check the Florabama area out and uh, see what we can find. There's a look at our new lot. It's in a fairly heavily populated area, but it's nice because it's high ground, it's grassy and there's gravel. We're gonna be tracking less sand into the trailer. And we've got these really cool trees to look at across. So we're happy with the change in location. We started our day at Gulf Shores Beach. But as often happens, it wasn't long before we got hungry. This restaurant, called The Hangout, and located right next to the beach, caught our eye. We checked the reviews, and they looked good, so we just decided to try it out. At first glance, this looked like every other normal restaurant. But we soon found out this wasn't the case at all. Alright, there's a reason we call it a shark attack, right guys? So, here we go. Yeah, I don't know what restaurants 
They like to send the wait staff actually, sing you some songs, maybe get you some pain, and that's a and everything, whatever. But we here at Hangout, we like to do things a little bit differently. So instead of us giving the birthdays a gift, the birthdays are going to give us a gift. And that gift is your best dance moves. restaurant had a lot going on. Engaging waiters, interactive entertainment, an outdoor games area, a foam party space, and even a wish wall. And yes, of course I left a wish of my own. So we just finished lunch at the hangout. We had actually just planned to go and have a drink, but uh, food looked good. Definitely recommend it if you want some entertainment. It's more than just food. There's all kinds of entertainment happening as you probably just saw in that video. And this is what they call the golf cart parade. <laughs> Look at that, Hudson! Woo! Candy flying at you! <laughs> Hudson! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> Hudson, what do you think, buddy? Hudson, is that amazing? <laughs> look at that, Hudson! <laughs> Hey Hudson, is that very exciting? Is that so exciting, Hudson? Is that for you? That this was the you? campground's golf cart parade, and Hudson was certain it was all just for him. The people in the golf carts were throwing candies and other supplies to the campers who were watching. Hudson adopted one of these items as his new favorite toy, and he'd carried this around for the rest of the day. Later that day, we headed to the campground clubhouse. The KOA was hosting a spaghetti dinner. For $8, you got a plate of homemade spaghetti, a salad, and bread, along with live entertainment. We were truly surprised by how many organized activities this campground had in the week that we were there. So this KOA puts on a regular spaghetti dinner, which we just finished, with some live entertainment, but now it's raining, so we're headed back to the trailer. Yep. Dave has commentary. This just in. <laughs> I was just telling Matt that uh, we've never experienced a KOA meal before, and for eight bucks you got uh, garlic bread, salad, and spaghetti and country music, like live entertainment. So I thought, why wouldn't we do this, eh? Yeah, definitely worth it. The rest of the night was filled with rain, thunder, and some very impressive lightning. Be 
begin to feel the fire. Hudson is just enjoying the morning, watching the passers by. All of the sights, eh, Hudson? You enjoying the scenery, Hudson? You can't come to this area and not visit the Floribama Honky Tonk. After an uneventful morning, it was time to head out to one of the most popular bars in America. So we're going to Floribama. So we have just arrived at one of the most famous bars in the U.S. Here since 1964. And it's right on the border of Alabama and Florida. So on the border of Orange Key, Alabama and Perdido Key, Florida. So we're literally right on the border here. I think half the restaurant is in one state, half the restaurant's in the other. So we're gonna check this out. Apparently there's some live music and uh, maybe get a few beer. Got a fast car. I don't want a ticket anywhere. Maybe we can make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Any place is better. Starting from the zero, got nothing to lose. Maybe we'll make something. The awesome part about this bar is that it's split up into quite a few different areas, each with a different style of live music. Everything you're seeing here is part of the bar, including the beach area which also had live entertainment. The artist you're hearing is Carson Stanford, and he was the one playing the music on the beach. Hey Matt, what do you think of this beach? It's a nice beach and a nice bar too. Oh yeah? Good entertainment? We even got a swim in while still technically at the Floribama bar. What do you think of this beach? Oh, I think the best swim I've ever had in the I just love it. And the temperature is just right. So we're just finishing up at Floribama and it is quite the bar, especially the beach portion. Definitely check it out if you're in this area. So, it's been rainy most of the day, so we haven't really left the campground. We've just been kind of hanging out. We ordered some pizza tonight, but it's after dinner, so we decided to go for a drive around the area. And right now, we're on our way to a marina, but on the way there, it says that there's various dinosaurs in the bush, and fountains, and a replica of Stonehenge, so it all sounds very strange. We're gonna see if we can see any of this on our drive. That's a, it's a dinosaur. Oh, he sees it. In its natural habitat. What do you think, Hudson? You see the dinosaur? Hudson, do you like the dinosaurs? Do you want to find the T-Rex? So we have found the Neptune Fountain. After seeing a number of dinosaurs. It's very strange why this is all here. But it's all free, so you can come check it out for yourself. A lot nicer than I expected it might be.
There were all kinds of sculptures and art displays on our way to and at the marina itself. We're still not quite sure why, but it's worth checking out. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. Or, even better, subscribe to our channel. It really does help us reach a wider audience. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.